Good morning, friends. Rise and shine. The world's been turning and everyone is waking. Rise and shine. On this new day, the morning light is breaking. Rise with the rest of us shine like a pearl rise and show your love all around the world yes rise with the bluebird shine like the sun now's the time to rise and shine now's the time to rise and shine so let the sun shine in it with a grin. Smilers never lose and frowners never win. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Every little cell in my body is happy every little cell in my body is well every little cell in my body is happy every little cell in my body is well i'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well i'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap, the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive. In this great turning, we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning, we shall learn to lead in love. Love is the only answer. Love is the way to go. Ho, ho. Love, 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 love. Let our circle grow a little louder. Love is the only answer. Love is the way to go. Ho, ho. Love, 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 love. Let our circle grow. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, good morning, and morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? It's the same as saying, how are you feeling today? Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, Vanny. Good morning to Angela. Good morning, Pradeep. Good morning to Ashraf. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning to Ken. And good morning to Jake. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. And how do you do? Good morning, friends. Well, unfortunately, I can't say it's a sunny morning this day this day, Friday, June 25th. So far, it's a little bit cloudy. 
and often when you see the clouds like this today where the sky is gray you can pretty much be certain it's probably going to rain today when it's this cloudy it's probably going to rain so when you're going outside perhaps take a rain jacket or carry your umbrella so that you're prepared for the rain today. I'd like to introduce you to a wonderful drum maker, an indigenous man named Sammy Hill. And he lives on the west coast of Canada. He's from British Columbia, an indigenous man. And his he's very famous for making drums, fantastic drums that are used in musical circles and special ceremonies and special gifts to people. So this is Sammy Hill and his special gift in life is making drums. He's also an artist, which is beautiful also. But in particular, I love all these drums that he makes. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we are hosted is the Mississauga of the Anishinaabe the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. And here where I live at Lake Simcoe, I walk the sacred land of the Ojibwe and Chippewa. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit peoples. So Sammy Hill, we congratulate you on a, a job well done, my friend. Now we have someone else to congratulate. I'm going to give you some clues. First of all, it has to do with the country of Canada. And secondly, it has to do with one of our national sports. One is one of our national sports is lacrosse and the other national sport is hockey. You're right. And last night, a team from Canada made it into the Stanley Cup. The Montreal Canadiens are going to the Stanley Cup this year, which is really exciting. But a, a special part of the story is that the goalie, here's, here's the goalie for the Montreal Canadiens. His name is Carey Price. And what's beautiful, beautiful about his story, number one, he's an absolutely fantastic goalie, and now he's on the winning team of the Montreal Canadiens, and he's an indigenous man from British Columbia. So he's in this, he's recognized in this special book, Go Show the World. And this book is all about various indigenous people and from Canada and wonderful things that they have done in the world and Carey Price is one of them he's taking our Canadian Montreal Canadians to the Stanley Cup so bravo Carey Price oh look at look at this gorgeous picture I love the moon and the sky and the water just beautiful if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Here's the sequence. Clap. Clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. 
Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Well, I'm happy because we have a Canadian team going to the Stanley Cup in hockey. Happiness runs in a circular motion. Happiness runs in a circular way. Happiness runs in a circular motion. Happiness runs in a circular way. That's good for lip closure, practicing closing your lips. Let's do some camp boom boom songs. Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Giddy and foolish the whole day through. Boom boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, 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 my heart goes kaboom. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Let's have a look. Was it you, Sophia? Was it you, Vanny? Was it you, Angela? Was it you, Pradeep? Was it you, Ashraf? Was it you, Sandy? Was it you, Ken? Was it you, Jake? Boom, 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 my heart goes kaboom. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Was it you, Miss Colterman? Maybe it was. I can't tell a lie because I'm being honest. Maybe I took the cookie. Another boom boom song. Let's think about this one. Oh, this one is an echo song. So I sing along a line and you sing along after I say the line. Let's try it. Boom chicka boom. Boom chicka boom. I said a boom chicka boom. I said a Boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. Sis, boom, ba. Sis, boom, ba. Let's try it one more time, a little bit louder. Boom, chicka boom. Boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. Sis, boom, ba. Sis, boom, ba. Good for you. Here's another echo song so you repeat what you hear me say. Everywhere we go, ho, everywhere we go, ho, people always ask us, people always ask us who we are, who we are, so we tell them, so we tell them, we're from Georges Vanier, we're from Georges Vanier, wonderful, wonderful Georges Vanier, wonderful, wonderful Georges Vanier. And if you can't hear me, if you can't hear me, I'll sing a little louder. I'll sing a little louder. Everywhere we go, ho, everywhere we go, ho, people always ask us, people always ask us who we are, who we are. So we tell them, so we tell them, we're from Georges Vanier. We're from Georges Vanier. Wonderful, wonderful Georges Vanier. 
Wonderful, wonderful Georges Vanier. Wonderful, wonderful Georges Vanier. Wonderful, wonderful Georges Vanier. That one's fun, especially when we go to track meets and we're cheering for each other in the track meet or at the swim meets when we go to the swim meet. That's also fun. Swimming, swimming in my swimming pool. When days are hot, when days are cold, in my swimming pool. Breaststroke, side stroke, fancy diving too. Oh, don't you wish you never had anything else to do? Another song that I learned at camp, it's called The Window. And we joke and we pretend that we're gonna throw someone out the window, but we never really throw anyone out the window. But you have to try to remember a nursery rhyme. The window, the window, the second story window. If you don't know a nursery rhyme, we'll throw you out the window. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and we threw him out the window, the window, the second story window. If you don't know a nursery rhyme, we'll throw you out the window. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, we threw her out the window, the window, second story window. If you don't know one nursery rhyme, we'll throw you out the window. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. We threw him out the window, the window, the second story window. If you don't know one nursery rhyme, we'll throw you out the window. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses, all the king's men, we threw them out the window, the window. Second story window. If you don't know a nursery rhyme, we'll throw you out the window. You're gonna learn, if you go to summer camp, and I hope you do, you're going to learn lots of fun camp type songs because that's a big part of going to camp is learning music, song, movement, dance, playing instruments. This land is your land. This land is my land. From Bonavista to Vancouver Island. From the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Waters. This land was made for you and me. That's a fun camp song too. Keep on the sunny side. Always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help you every day. It will help in every way. If you keep on the sunny side of life. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray, like today. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I've got that joy, joy, joy way down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got that joy, joy, joy way down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got that love, love, love way down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got that love, love, love way down in my heart down in my heart to stay friends you got it 
I've got my friends, friends, friends way down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got my friends, friends, friends way down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay and my family. I've got my family, family, family way down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got my family, family, family way down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Let's get together and feel all right. It's true, when we get together, even if we hang out on the computer together in our virtual class, we start feeling all right, don't we? We help each other to feel good. Oh, some more camp songs. Black socks. Where are my black socks? They never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the stronger they get. Some Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me, oh no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the stronger they get. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me, oh no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. They all rolled over and one fell out. There were nine in the bed. The little one said, roll over, roll over. They all rolled over and one fell out. There were eight in the bed. The little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Seven. There were seven in the bed. The little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Now there's Six in the bed, the little one said, roll over, roll over. They all rolled over and one fell out. Now there's, good for you, five. Five in the bed, the little one said, roll over, roll over. Mm -hmm. Well, they all rolled over and one fell out. Now there's four in the bed. The little one said, roll over, roll over. They all rolled over and one fell out. Now there's three in the bed. The little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Now there's two in the bed. The little one said, roll over roll over while well, they all rolled over and one fell out. Now there's just one in the bed and he sang, I've got the whole bed to myself. I've got the whole, whole bed to myself. I've got the whole bed to myself. I've got the whole bed to myself. <laughs> Okay, more camp summer songs. Let me see. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Summer fruit. Back to my home. I dare not go. 
for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen a whale with a polka dot tail down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelon grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen Barb eating some lard down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home? I dare not go, I'm thinking of one, for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen Sandy eating some candy? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen Jake playing with a snake down by the bay? My paddle's clean and bright, fashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. Dip, dip, and swing her back, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose, goose track, dip, dip, and swing. I gotta try that again because I'm forgetting the words. My paddle's keen and bright, Flashing with silver, follow the wild goose flight. Dip, dip, and swing. Dip, dip, and swing her back. Flashing with silver, follow the wild goose flight. Dip, dip, and swing. Dip, dip, and swing. Land of the silver birch home of the beaver, where still the mighty moose wanders at will. Blue lake and rocky shore, I will return once more. Boom diddy yada, boom diddy yada, boom, 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 boom. It's funny how a lot of those camp songs have boom, boom, boom in them just worked out that way. Okay, another camp song. Oh boy. Michael rowed the boat ashore. Alleluia. Michael rowed the boat ashore. Alleluia. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Let's go faster for you, Ken. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I'm on the river of my life, so high, paddle slow, but paddle strong. And as the waves go rolling by, hi, I see a little more of me. That's the fun thing about going out on the water. You go out on a, a canoe or you go out on a kayak. Both canoes and kayaks were invented by the indigenous people. When you go out on a boat on the water, it's so relaxing and calming and it, it just really centers you. It really grounds you. The boat goes down the river, takes me to my home. The 
boat goes down the river, it takes me to my home. Listen to the water, listen to the water, rolling down the river. Listen to the water, listen to the water, rolling down the river. Beautiful. All things on earth shall pass under the sky, but music alone shall live. Music alone shall live. Music alone shall live and never die. Keep the music going all summer. Play an instrument, sing, hum, chant, sit and listen to music, or put your headphones on and listen to music, or dance, or make your own music and your own songs, but keep the music going. Let's do some shape breathing. Let's breathe it in like a square. Breathe it in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and blow it out. <sighs> Breathe it in, hold it, hold it, hold it, and blow it out. <sighs> Let's try a triangle. Breathe it in, and hold it. Blow it out. And one more. Breathe it in. Hold it. Hold it. And blow it out. Good for you. The sequence for the days of the week, my friends. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And today is Friday. It's the end of our school week. However, we still have school on Monday. Monday will be the last day that we have our virtual school together. Tomorrow will be Saturday. You get to sleep in. You get lots of time to yourself. Don't even think about doing schoolwork. Yesterday was Thursday. Thursday, June 24th, and the day that the Montreal Canadiens won their game. So today is Friday, and the month is June. January, February, March, and April, May, June. July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And today is number 25. So it's Friday, June 25th of 2021. 25th is the ordinal number. So let's count in ordinal numbers all the way to the 25th. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Good for you. That's a lot of ordinal numbers to remember, isn't it? Yesterday I showed you this gorgeous pride flag. 
During the month of June, we honor Pride Month. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow tune. Well, today I'd like to show you a book I have. It's called We All Belong. And it's particularly important during Pride Month because we want all people to feel like they belong. And sometimes people in the LBGTQ Two Spirit Plus community feel like they don't always belong. And it's just not fair. We all belong. If you look closely, you'll see no one looks the same as me. I have lovely, dark, curly hair. And my hair is straight, long, and fair. Everybody has different hair. Everybody has different eyeglasses or eye color, different color of hair, different sizes of people. Everyone is different on the outside. I am tall. I am small. But we both love to play football. Doesn't matter if you're tall or small. They both love to play football. I like to be loud. And sometimes I'm shy. Who is smart? You and I. They're both really smart. Everyone is different in one way or another. I, the woman in this picture, says she's, this girl says, I even look different than my sister and brother. She uses a wheelchair for her mobility to get her around. Some might say we're a different race. We think that's completely ace. Doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. What is our race? Is it the color of our skin? It, me it just means we share one kind of thing. Sharing what? sharing looks, sharing things in history books. So it's just one area that you might share the same. We're the same in so many ways. We like dancing. We both love to read. My eyes are brown, my eyes are blue. So one boy has brown eyes, one has blue. When we come together, there's nothing we can't do. It doesn't matter the color of their eyes. It would be boring if we all looked the same, if we ate the same food, if we had the same name. My family and I eat rice and peas. That sounds nice. Can I try some, please? Everybody eats different foods. And so we tr so often we try different foods from different cultures. My family sings precious songs. 
and my family wears nice sarongs. In school, we all belong. This is such a beautiful picture because and together we all get along, it says. In this picture, I sort of see tall and short, wide and slim, different hair color, different eye color, different mobility. Some people use a wheelchair. Some people have hearing aids. Some people are from LGBTQ to Spirit Plus community. Everyone is different and yet we all belong together we get along this is what school is all about too we learn to get along with everybody else it's not beautiful let me see and here's the final picture i want to show you all sorts of different students not one of us is out of place. We all belong to the human race. And that's my final message to you students. We're all the same. We all belong. That's beautiful, we all belong. Now, I've been telling you that this is a special month, it's it's in, well, we had National Indigenous Peoples Day on June 21, but the whole month is also devoted to Indigenous people. And we've been trying to learn new things about Indigenous people. So yesterday I showed you this book. It's called Relatives with Roots. And it's by Lee Marie Dorian. Well, what I also want to share with you, in, first of all, I just want to refresh your memory that in this book, the grandma takes the girl for a special journey and they go through the woods and they go through and pick various herbs and plants and bark, etc., that they need to make special medicine. And that's one of the special things that the indigenous people have passed on to us is the ability to heal through various medicines that they make healing medicines and so Lee Marie Dorian writes many books she's a Métis woman she has written several books she also wrote that book The Giving Tree the Métis story that I showed you the other day but today I also want to show you I want to introduce you to her as an artist. Yes, she wrote a great book. But look at this beautiful painting she made. The woman and the sun and all these beautiful circles, circles, circles and beautiful colors. And some more dot, dot, dots like the ones that we like to create. So that's a beautiful painting by Lee Marie Dorian, a Métis woman. And here's another painting by Lee Marie Dorian. And I like this one because, well, first of all, I like the fact that it's in the shape of a triangle. I love that she uses lots of spirals in her paintings. And she used the Métis infinity flag, the infinity sign. And as, I, as you might recall from before, the Métis infinity flag represents the past, the present, and the future all blending together. And look at, I just love this. All of these, looks to me like women sitting together, but I shouldn't say that, I don't know that for sure. Women together looking out 
towards the sun. Or it could be the moon. Oh no, here's the moon. Here's the moon. Here's the stars. So that's another lovely indigenous painter. And one more by Lee Marie Dorian. I love this because I get to see these beautiful indigenous outfits that they're wearing with lots of colors and they're each carrying a birch bark basket and they use the basket to put anything in that they pick. These are called the Saskatoon trees. So they're picking some special things that they need for medicine. And I see more spirals. And I see the medicine wheel, the earth, the air, the fire, the water. Beautiful symbols, beautiful colors, and beautiful painting. Such lovely indigenous painters. Now, something else I want to tell you about the Indigenous community, and it's something that it's taken me a long time to understand. It, um, there's so many things I have to learn. I'm embarrassed to say there's a lot that I don't know about the Indigenous community, so I want to keep learning. So I did a little bit of research on the internet and I discovered a couple of things. And one thing I want to tell you about is often in Canada, they try to put oil pipelines passing through indigenous land so that they can get the oil perhaps to the ocean and then put it on a boat and send the, send the oil to another country. But the unfortunate part of the story is it's the indigenous land that is being destroyed to carry this oil pipeline. And the indigenous people see their land as a very sacred place. It's a very spiritual, sacred place. They love the land, they love nature, so they don't want to have pipelines through their sacred land. And this is a sign that says, sacred earth, like their land is sacred. They don't want to have pipelines through their land. And here's something else that I've discovered. The indigenous community really, really want to protect our water. Because in Canada, we have so much beautiful, fresh water, and we want to protect it. We want it to be there for generations and generations. We don't want to pollute it. We don't want to put garbage in it. And we don't want to give too much of our water away to other countries. We want it to be here for generations and generations. And here's another story I want to tell you. Water is life. And in this picture, I learned the story about many indigenous people who live in the far north who do not have good drinking water. They don't have clean drinking water. They can't just turn on their tap and drink the water. Every single day, they have to boil their water on the stove to clean, clean the water before they can drink it. And it's just not fair. So that's something else. These are things that I think we should all be aware of about the indigenous people in our country. They should be getting fresh water. They shouldn't have their water taken away from them. They shouldn't have their land taken away by things like an oil pipeline, a gas line or a pipeline. So 
So that's another part of the Indigenous story. And I'm learning as I go, my friend. Now I'm going to switch again. I found this book. And it's various children from across Canada who submitted what they love about Canada. I wonder what you love about Canada. I love that we're a country that welcomes all people into our country. But let's see what some of the children in the book thought. Well, first of all, this book has lovely animals throughout it. A moose. I see the mountains in the background. I see the coniferous tree. You know it's a coniferous or an evergreen. It doesn't change color in the fall. This up here, this red colored leaf would be from a deciduous tree or a tree that does change color in fall. This is what some of the students thought. The first student said, I love Canada because we have beautiful forests. It's true. In Canada, we have lots of beautiful forests. Looks like a blue jay taking care of its baby. And the next student said, I love Canada because we have wide open spaces. Remember yesterday we learned that this is called a valley and it sits between the mountains. This flatter land is called the valley. Look at that big buffalo. And the next student said, I love Canada because we have the northern lights. And the polar bears remind us that this must be up in the Northwest Territories or up in the Arctic. That's where you often see the northern lights. The sky lights up with these beautiful colors of purple and green and blue, magenta. The next student said, I love Canada because it stretches from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the Pacific Ocean. You can see the ocean. You can see the shoreline of rocks. You can see this lighthouse and it has a light on it to tell the boats where don't come any closer or you're going to hit the shoreline. And in Canada, off our shores, we have lots of terrific fish. Fish and crab and lobster and, and mussels and, and, and oysters and lots of wonderful sea creatures. So the next student said, I love Canada because we have a great national anthem. In this picture, you can see all these wolves howling together. Oh, they're singing, Oh, Canada. Each wolf is contributing to our national anthem, Oh, Canada. And the next student says, I love Canada because we welcome all different kinds of people. That was what I was thinking too. I love being in Canada because we welcome all people into our country. I guess in this picture, they're showing you all different kinds of birds and the birds depict all different cultures in Canada. The next student said, I love Canada because our lakes are great for swimming in. Here's the loon and the birds, and we can go swimming and boating, kayaking or canoeing on the lakes. The next student said, 
I love Canada because we have all the seasons. It's true. We have winter, snowy, spring, a little bit rainy, summer, usually sunny and bright and hot, and fall, a little bit cooler, and the leaves all turn colors on the deciduous trees. I love Canada because we have the best food. Now this is interesting because we see a beaver working hard to make their dam. However, the story says we have the best food and the idea is that in Canada, we have so many cultures that bring wonderful foods, a real potpourri, a real blend of wonderful foods in our country. The next student said, I love Canada because we love to play sports. Look at these animals having fun together. We sure do love our sports. Miss Colterman loves football, soccer, baseball, hockey, the Olympics. I love it all. Tennis, swimming. I love Canada, says the next student, because we speak many languages. It's true. We have many indigenous languages. We have many cultures in Canada. And so we have lots of different languages. I love Canada because we find nature everywhere. So even when you live in the city, you can still find nice trees, nice parks to go to, some friendly animals in your community. Everyone loves Canada. I particularly love looking at all these animals they're all very special to me. That's one of the things I love about Canada. There we go. So that's all about Canada. Now, I want to tell you, a few years back, I went on a special trip to Quebec. Went to Quebec City. And I looked into the farmer's fields. I looked into all these fields. And I saw fields and fields of purple lavender. This is a purple lavender flower. So I thought today we could start to learn how to make purple lavender flowers. And it looks like it's something we could do. You could do it at your house. You could make it with markers. You can make it with paint. It's your choice. I happen to have this background that I already painted blue and then earlier this morning I added with my marker I added some green stems and now I'm going to show you how to make the purple lavender purple paint or you could use a purple marker your choice in and for this one I'm going to use these um, cotton swabs you could use a paintbrush if you want to but I think this when you use the cotton swab it makes a nice little dot 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 on the end of your brush and I'm going to try making lavender by going dot, 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 dot on both sides. And what I'm doing is with my little cotton swab, I go down, 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 down. There we go, down, down. 
and then you get a field of lavender. Lavender, mm -hmm. dilly, dilly, down, down. And with your little cotton swab, just going stroke, down, stroke, down, down, down. Let me try it again. I'll try it a little bit closer. I put a dot at the top. And then I go down one side, down the other. Down, 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 down. Lavender, purple. Down, down. And feel free to go back and get some more paint if you need it. There we go, down, down. Meat nor drink nor money have I none. Still I will be happy, be happy, happy. I'm going to show you one more. A dot and then down, down. Hey, ho, anybody home? Meat nor drink nor money have I none. Still I will be happy, happy, happy. And eventually when you get them all painted, it looks like a field of lavender. And it also smells really pretty. So that's what lavender looks like. And talking about Canada, I wanted to go back to this poem. It's actually a song, but I'm going to say it as a poem. Canada is the Rocky Mountains. Canada is Prince Edward Island. Canada is a country made of love. Canada is La Belle Provence, which is Quebec. Canada is the Yukon Miner. Canada is a country full of love. We have love for our neighbor of whatever creed or color. We have love for our cities and our valleys and our plains. We have a voice that is calling, telling all the world we're willing to welcome them to this great land. For that's what Canada is. We have faith in our future. We're ready for tomorrow. We have faith in our students. For our futures in your hands. We have a voice that is calling, telling us to keep on hoping, for time will make this wild land great. And that's what Canada is. We have peace. This is the last part. We have peace, it's such a pretty sign, peace. We have peace in our valleys, we're happy and contented. We have peace in our cities and our boundaries have no chains. We have a voice that is calling, telling everyone we're willing to show them how to live in peace, because that's what Canada is. So proud to be Canadian. Okay, now I've got my sensory box here and I've got it loaded with some summer activities. Things that you can be doing at your house. First of all, bubbles. Go outside, I'll tell you, bubbles are not just for little kids. I see adults using bubbles I see them blowing them at weddings, at parties, sometimes at funerals they blow bubbles. Just feel free to get outside, oh, and blow, blow some bubbles and then try to catch them. Tiny bubbles, there we go. Tiny bubbles, here we go. So get some bubbles. 
These are inexpensive. They're at the Dollar Type store and they're fun. Get outside and blow some bubbles. Number two, make some of your own homemade Play-Doh with flour and water or go to the dollar store and pick up some Play-Doh. And I keep telling you students, Play-Doh is not just for kids. Play-Doh is for students of all ages, adults, high school students, or if you don't want to use Play-Doh, Use some clay, you can work with clay, you can work with flour and water and make a mixture and then mold it to whatever you want it to be. Often, this is what happens, I'm, this is what often happens. You start working with a piece of clay or Play-Doh or flour, water, whatever mixture you have and you keep working with it squishing 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 and somehow in all of that you end up with a little dish like this that often happens especially at summer camp when you're working with clay you might make a small dish or you might make a small dish with a piece of nature in it like a leaf a pine cone a twig a pine needle so get busy, get your hands busy. Talking about hands. This is an instrument I got at the dollar store, but I think you can use one too. You can, you can either use your hole punch to make holes in paper, or you can get one of these that helps to strengthen, strengthen, strengthen your hand, strengthen, Strengthen, strengthen your hand and try doing it with both hands. Let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. Yeah, keep it up with some exercise this summer. Another thing you can use for your hands, strengthening your hands, fill a balloon or fill mini balloons, one with chickpeas, one with lentils, one with rice, one with sand, maybe one with stones, and squish, squish, squish every day. Squish, squish, squish every day. That will help you to be centered, calm, and here's another strategy I have. Take a moment to breathe. And when I show you that sign, what I really mean is, let's not make your summer so, so busy that you get stressed out. If you have too many activities to do, it's not good because we all know you need to calm down and take a break. So you have to find the things that help you to calm down. I know that when I'm feeling stressed or upset, I love to go in my canoe, or I go out in my kayak, or I go swimming, or I read a book, or I listen to music, or I meditate. I could have a warm bath or a nice shower to calm me down. I could go sit in a chair and just oh, stretch out and relax a little bit. And you can always sit back and count backwards from 30 or 20 or 10. Take care of a pet. Maybe you have a pet at your house. Or maybe one of your neighbors has a pet. A dog or a cat that you can help take care of. Call your friends. Or FaceTime your friends on the computer. Play 
play some games. Play some games, play some board games. I love the idea of doing some art, if you can, this summer. Markers, painting, cutting every day, cutting and gluing. These are things you can do so that you have a joy-filled summer. Okay, my friends, I'm going to say goodbye for today, and I'll see you this afternoon online. Friends, I will remember you, think of you, play with you, and when another day is through, I'll still be friends with you. Goodbye, my friends. Go and create joy. And I'll see you on online class.